Hi everyone, welcome to another How's Coin Finds and uh, Willie's Milk Bar $40 coin noodle. Uh, following on from the shorts that I showed uh, to the lead up to this. Um, so uh, $40 worth, that's what I got. So there was actually $18 worth of 20s and $2 of 10s. There's nothing in the 10s. And $20 of 50s so for 40 bucks not bad 11 coins there last time i did it last week week before 80 dollars worth and i got four coins um so uh, really well done well up there was 150 coins roughly um the very first one is this amazing 1966 20 cents I'll just cut to the video that I did when I was setting out the 20 cent coins. And as I was putting them out, I'm just stacking them up. I didn't realize I looked over and look at that. 1966. And it is, I haven't touched it. It's exactly like it was. Look at that. That is in immaculate condition. The reason I haven't turned it over or done anything is I got this and videoed it. If this is a wavy two in this condition, we're talking about fifteen hundred bucks. Come on! I swear I haven't turned it over. No. But the condition—that's a real pity. Looks like a bit of glue on there or something. And has it got a gap? So it's a no gap, so no gap here at the platypus head. That means that it's the London coin. The gap between there is the Canberra privy mark. So it's the correct coin, London, but it doesn't have the wavy two up here. But that is amazing. It's got luster, everything on it. That's a find, you don't find them every day. That's a good worth coin anyway, without without it being the wavy too. And so you can see from that video that uh, it was sitting like that on the top of the deck as I was putting them out and I saw it. It's almost uncirculated. And it had some rubbish on the back which actually cleaned off very easy. Bit of soapy water it just washed off as you saw i flipped it I, I didn't i didn't do anything till i did that video and i flipped it and it just happened to be a london minted 20 cent 66 no gap here at the platypus and that makes it a london and it's the london that has the wavy too just there. It actually looks like a swan when it's on the back of this top bar there and it goes out and it's incused so it's not a cud it was actually in the die and um, what a beautiful coin to still find in circulation uh, 66 so it's um, what uh, 40 nearly 60 years old amazing a beautiful find that one really nice anyway so it wasn't a wavy 66 but if it had been in that condition oh, we're talking you know over a thousand easy easy so uh yeah really good so we'll have a look at the other ones um 30 million on these the london I think it was 26 on the Canberra, but the London, 30 million. 95 United Nations, 4.3 million. Low mint, really nice coin, hard to find. So that's a good score. This one here is extremely hard to find. It's a 2001 platypus. 
and it is the hardest of the three to find and it's a I spaced with the RB join so you can get these where they're all spaced which is the everyone calls it the large head where all of them are spaced and then you can get the all joined which is standard and then you get the I space RB which is the other die variety that and the all spaced is the two varieties and to me the <laughs> since 2001 the IRB on the platypus not the federation uh, is the hardest to find extremely hard to find and you can get these with a small SD variety you can get them individual and together on all three the all join the I spaced RB join and the all spaced can all be married up with a small SD variety, so double die variety, reverse and obverse. But that is the first one I found in whew, years, and I've checked hundreds of thousands. Of these. They're really, really scarce, very hard to find. So that's a good score. We'll continue on with the 20 senses. So uh, 83 million, they made of the 2001. <laughs> uh, that's all three dies, of course, but 83 million. Well, then you got the SD die on the back as well. So there was many dies used in that. You know, probably uh, one, two, well, five different dies, two reverse and three obverse. Uh, and they could be married together or single. Then uh, 1981, that's got uh, 50 million on that. And this one is a Welsh 1981. And it's got the small nostrils. So out of the three 1981s, there's Canberra, Canada, and the Welsh. The Welsh has a small nostril and Canada in Canberra have large nostrils. And you can get these with dye fill on the claws, which look like a 1981 Canadian, but they're not. It's got flat base letters and it's concave. She sits down in it from pressures, which is different. I've got videos on this, so they're in the link. They explain in all three of the 81s. Uh, so yeah, that was nice. Nice Welsh one, keep that. Then, uh, and 50 million on them. Oh, they've got a 99, 64 million on these. And this one's got a die chip error cut to the side of the 20. Just so small, just there. So the die chip in it, in the die and created an obtuse object which we call a cud or a blob big dot whatever you like to call it but it's an error uh 64 million on that i didn't say uh 2008 26 million on these and this one is the wave gap die variety and you can see it's got a gap there and that's a privy mark so Canberra Mint put a privy mark there and the other time they did it was the 66 which I showed you that 66 was a London if it had a gap like this it would have been a Canberra and that's Canberra putting a privy mark on there because you can't put mint marks on circulating coins so but you are allowed to put privy marks that's a privy mark so that matches with the 66 and I found uh, three or four different distances of that gap getting real close and really wide away this one this one's actually uh, quite a distance yeah that's probably about the widest so they're hard to find uh, so that's another good score
2008. I just happen to have two coins here to show you the 2001. This one is the all join. You can see the IRB. The I is really close to it. And that's the all join. And this one is the I spaced RB join. Let's get in there. You can see the difference. So yes, so uh, and the other one is the all spaced. So uh, easiest to find the all join, then the all spaced, and this is the hardest, the all spaced RV join. On the platypus, not the Federation ones. They're totally different. Again, there's a huge array of different uh, IRBs to be found on them. Yep. And the other one is the 2008. There's the wave gap. And this one has no gap. No gap. Wave gap. So, yep. So, yeah, that's 2008. Alright, so uh, 30 mil, 4.3 mil, 83 mil, 50 mil, 64 mil, and 26 million on them. 50 cent pieces, Captain Cook, 16 million on him. Really nice, he's a nice nick. And he's the standard seven. So the seven is straight. If you run a line across zero to nine, it'll go across a seven. You can get tilted to the right, which puts the top bar facing upwards. And if you run a line across that and the seven, it'll take you to the rim and there's uh, three different angles that that tilted to the right to get possibly four pretty sure there's four but I'll say three and a straight so that's four coins to find with the cook for all the varieties and if I'm right it'll be five coins uh, yeah nice and then 1988 at 8.8 .8. <laughs> million beautiful condition very nice couple of marks because obviously it's been in the till but it is really nice and you can get these with an error the 8 8 you can get it with a dot cud right in the center of the two look at that beautiful pity about the couple of scratches but anyway very nice uh, as I said, 8.8 .8 million, 88, easy to remember. Um, and then, uh, not intended for circulation, Herald Sun released these with the newspaper each week. I think there was 4.50 cents and 6 or 8 20 cent pieces commemorating 100 years of Anzacs. 296,000 on that one which is the highest of the 50 centers, or the rest are 146,000. The other three, three or four. There's a few coins they released each day, I think it was, or each week, and a folder to fill up. So a nice nick, and uh, 296,000, extremely low mintage. The lowest there, good score. And then last two, 2022 at 22 million easy to remember and both of these were together and they both had the same error there's a card on the back of the kangaroo so we got uh, there and there matching pair so another die chip nothing else on there so 22s, you can get these with what they call the snake eyes on just here. 
it's just a couple of die chips and they're in the right spot to give it two eyes and then calling it snake eyes. Um, and you can also, if you're lucky enough, to find one that has a dot just here. Not a crop circle like the 21, but a raised round dot just next to the crown. These don't have it. I haven't found one. I was given one by a snapper. He found one. Peter Butterworth. And he sent one to me. And I've never found one. That's the only one that I know of. And I've got it. So, uh, yeah, that's on the 22s. So, yeah, very good. Two errors. Matching pair. Excellent. I've turned those over so you can see. That's the uh, error just there. Die chip on the 99 and the 2008 has that space there, the gap space, the privy mark and the 2022 both have that cut error on the back of the roof. So very good, uh, like I said 11 coins, beautiful, out of 150, yeah that's pretty good, that's about 8% turnover for fines, very happy with that. And there, that's a good bunch of coins there. That's amazing. That's really good. They're hard to find. This, phew, extremely scarce. That thing, hard to find, hard to find. Uh, that, in that condition, beautiful. This one, well, <laughs> it's 296000 So on cards. I think they released them $3 each with the newspaper, Herald Sun. Um... And uh, two nice matching pair of uh, die cracks there. And a nice Welsh one. So, you know, can't complain at all. <laughs> it's a really good score. And really hard to find, wave gap, especially the widest one. Um, and uh, the 99s, they're not so rare, I've got to say. They're scarce, but do look at your 99s around that zero, especially in there. You get diet chips there and there on the 99s. Uh, so anyway, I'm happy with that. Beautiful. So uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, share. And until next time, have a good day and bye-bye.